Oh, so she's... That's part of the time, I see. <laughs> Bit of uh, etiquette school. Well, you know how Nautis oh, is a bit of a culture shock. It is. Very nice. <laughs> Pretty well, I suppose it is. Did you get something on your on your chest? Is he always Hello. surrounded by Not you. Huh? Dredge. Uh, yes. Um, Ooh, I can't wait to see it once it's healed. Who are you waiting? Uh, I'm just, um, I, I can wait if there's a line. <laughs> well, I came by to say hello, because I saw you. you and also waiting? because that was just far too funny not to, no. you know, <laughs> bring that up. Well, thank you. Always That's a pleasure to see you too. Yeah, and I'm, I'm doing my business here. <laughs> I'd ask that you get off of the table. Is it in use? I you weren't lying. It's, in use. Mm -hmm. it's ridiculously busy here all of a sudden with not a lot of business. Yeah. Come on, I want to hang out by Should we go inside then? Let me hang out here. Of work. Do you have business to conduct? Okay, does anyone actually need anything, or are you just hanging around the forge? Hang on. I'm just hanging around, because I wanted to bother you. I have three knives, all of them need sharpening. Okay. Uh... No. That's 45 copper for the three of them. You see, you're the only one here that charges me for this, but all right. <clears throat> Gotta make money. Let's go ahead and do that at your stall. Yes, the Zeman Morden never really always say it's free of charge. You know that's not it. Is the place of Need something? Yeah, what do you need? I can put orders in. This is not your playground, Tori. Uh, I'm, I'm working! I, I'm going to ask the same question again, but I'm, I'm going not to sure. Not I, okay. I was just hoping so, uh, that Tazim would step I can go up, back later I, uh, uh, I, I don't I, think I left so anything to the imagination, though. I felt like I answered your question pretty clearly. It's the Forge Master's call. So far, most people I ask either a short sword or a long sword so far. Um, but I don't know which. You have my opinion on it. Wonderful. Uh, yes, of course. I ask pretty much almost a lot of people in town. I should say. Um, I just don't know. If she's going to try to keep the ones that are hurting us the most out of the bathhouse. Uh, forgive me for wasting your time. Um, I need to think. We have to be civil with the rest of them, even if we know what they know. And what they could do anyways. They still show up and they're going to. The only way that it is not going to stop. I don't think most. The only way it is going to stop, like as I should say. Is if there are there are no more of them. Going to make it go about but that is not gonna something that can just happen overnight. I thought you already handed them to me when I you were fucking you know, so no, the I've profits for that house. No. I handed you the no, cash. I have not. three knives, all of them. Especially the since <laughs> they either don't wow. pay because they think they don't have sight. to, or you really start charging people. They don't pay us everything. For instance, a guard last night only paid Miss Flora five silver, and for what we both gave him, it would have been ten. It sets a precedent, mm. Tony. You know, speak to you now. <clears throat> Perhaps there should be around to enforce prices as well. Hmm. It would be good. Maybe they'll actually listen and do as they're told properly instead of just <laughs> causing issues. Going to what? I can't. I am not going to go. I will not. I will not <laughs> going to go. It's the first anything. I've heard of it. And I haven't heard anything from my Currently a celebration that his uh, brother came or something. Oh, that's good news. So, hopefully. Uh, sorry, Mr. Ron, by the way, I was... Uh, Apparently there's going to be drinking, arm wrestling, yeah, rock that throwing... That is all I know of the event. Hopefully it will be tomorrow. I'll, I'll see if I'm free, I suppose. Over and over, hoping. Hmm. Is, is there a particular reason for the, uh, the congregation? <laughs> no, pe people treat it like Dredge. they have it. They come here. 
Well, ah, gross. Very so, the actual the very so, definition of locked off. Shut yeah. Both barons are down know, in the town. Dredge. So much I don't know, it's both of the barons. The, um, ah, the barons are uh, having it out at the tavern, I believe it was said. Yeah. Oh. Are the two brothers, yeah. About that. Oh. Well, they had the god, and there was a lot of shouting, so. Sure. Of course. Yeah, it's best not to get caught accidentally giving someone the wrong eye. <sighs> Oops. Right, Mr. Shriek, what would you like done with Miss Tori? Well, I'm going to be going inside, so si her sitting out here is kind of pointless. As much as I enjoy her company. That's nice to hear. I aim to please. You know that's not what it's about. <laughs> I know, but who, this who, is so on, hard wait, wait. to be work what buddy. Uh, what was that? <laughs> Show me your hand. I what flipped you off. No, I flipped you off. All right, you're being really mean today. No, I dodged that <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> yeah, you're being really mean today. Like really, really mean Please, today, and I can't. I said I understand. Cordial. You know this. No, it's being fucking mean. I thought, you know, we were trying to.
Welcome back. Thanks. To get disconnected a lot today, it seems. I'm sorry. It must be frustrating. <clears throat> Not really. I wanted your opinion on something. Mm hmm. I was doing some reading on the Battle of the Eternal Day. After Arn brought it up the other day. Mm hmm. Different book. It's a flower book. Yeah, are you sure yeah, you know yeah. how to read? Hey, listen, I didn't open it before I put it there. Look. Those are pictures, Kyler. Pictures. And, and what are those? Words. So the book you're reading. It's very small. It's a very small excerpt on the Battle of the Eternal Day, and it mentions how the Theosian Empire, this was the first major use of night killers in a fight, right? And they used them to thin the entire ranks of, well, what was it, Giwen, some Eastern Dwarves, some Eastern Elves, and a few other bits here. Obviously, House Urhar mm -hmm. was there. They used the night killers to thin the ranks, and then they rushed up with their cataphracts and cut them down, basically, with the gaps that they opened up using these night killers. And obviously, House Erhard and their knights were the only ones that stopped the cataphract charge. That much is basically known history. Correct. How do we counter that now, though? Knowing that that has happened in the past, how do we evolve around that? I've been racking my, dra my brain trying to think huh. of it. Exactly why I'm here. You realize that, right? <clears throat> For Arnolf. Because he countered it. Because he's a tactician. <clears throat> but the casualties. We don't have that many to spare this time around. I'm not disagreeing. I fight. That's what I've been taught to do. I wasn't raised to be a tactician. I see. I work well under somebody <clears throat> who leads well. It's probably best a conversation to be had with him. I figured since you were If we had the solution, do you think I'd be here? We'd still need the air, ideally. It's hard to say. A lot's changed over there since the Battle of the Eternal Day. Things have... I was going to put it into words, slowly decayed. Hmm. It'd be hard for me to give you the perspective I have on the inside. Just in terms of quality of people or quality of armaments? Occupied Gwyn is a force, and those within it that are not Theosian are down and bruised. Anytime you try anything to get any information, it normally dies with those who end up getting found out. Your father's playing a part, then. Did what he had to do. <clears throat> I see. You don't need to worry about this right now. That will be a conversation. There are other things that you need to work on before that. Mm, it's just been in my mind. Okay, what are we working on? Well, for starters... Your first lesson should be getting a backbone. That display outside, what was that? With the people? It's a place of business. You can't conduct it professionally. How are you expecting to be a lord? <clears throat> there is a difference between friendship and business. You can have friends, but if friends don't respect your boundaries, Especially when you're trying to work, it's not going to work, is it? It's time for work and play. I suppose. Does Tazim let people walk all over him? 
I don't think so. When he has to work, does he work? He does, when he can. We're also doing Do our best... Do you think he would have let whatever gaggle happen? Well, sometimes he just ignores it, like I was doing. We're doing our best to uphold, uh... I don't know the word. Uh... Relations, right? We plan to... Relations take... can come with decorum. Right, but if we're going to be taking this whole fucking province, you need the people on your side, no? Mm. Yes, but the problem is, is if you lead the people as friends that have never learned to respect when you need them to listen, how are you going to lead them? They've done pretty well up until now. Mm. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, I'll be more assertive then. You don't need to be a dick. Just be assertive about your boundaries and when you need to get work done. Hmm. You can't be a dick when you're rude. You can't say, get the fuck out of my forge. You say, unfortunately, what was the other one's name? Other drow? Torty. Unfortunately, Torty, I have business to attend to. Is it okay if I come see you later? I see. It's not being rude. It's defining your boundaries and making sure that you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. And you have your time with her later. These people... don't do the whole Lord thing. When they see people in power like that and they... look at them with the... not looking down the nose, but when they talk to them that way, they feel like they're being oppressed. It's not being oppressive. You can be a good... I know. Leader, but that's what they without feel. Without being like. oppressive, these people here—they. You have to be good enough to make them not feel that way. You have to do those things and show them that you're not a dick. That's what I'm trying. They to don't do. like those things because people have acted like that and were dicks. What would happen if the Lord would fall tomorrow? Who's in charge of coming with me to make sure everything gets restored? That'd be me. Do you feel like any of his people would listen to you like they listen to him? They have done, yes. I don't see it. You haven't seen it when the chips are down. I've been in combat with many of them. They listen to myself, they listen to Tazim. It's part of your lesson. A lot of this isn't going to happen just in combat. It'll happen over dinners. Not just in back alley. It'll happen over deals. It'll happen while you're sitting across from somebody, sipping wine, wondering why they won't agree with you and you have to do everything in your power without a blade to convince them as such. While wearing a stuffy shirt. I admit, I've never been fond of politics like that. You're going to have to understand some of them, and the best training ground is with people that you like and can work with. Doesn't look like any of them hate you out there. Learning to assert your boundaries and those things is important for you in a number of reasons. I see. Like you said you don't have to be a fucking dick. I understand. Good. Now, show me how terribly you write. Oh boy. Um... I've only become literate like three years ago, okay? So just set your expectations low and then we can work from there, all right? What would you like me to write? You're fine, just show me what you know. You can write, I'm a dumbass. How does that sound? What happened to like making, making people like you but not being a dick? I don't need you to like me. I'd prefer Those aside, I you can write. Oh, I've already. No, you don't actually have to. Well, how's that? What does that say? I am. That's not how you do use. But it's quicker. You quill. No, it's not. It doesn't matter if it's quicker. If you're sending a missive for aid and a U becomes an N and somebody gets insulted, it's a whole problem. Now I'm going to change it up, because I'm not going to spell that. I'm going to say you, for the <laughs> extra practice of the you, 
You... ...are a dumbass. What's... no, what's with these extra circly, squiggly bits in between? It's a waste of time. It's called a flourish. A flourish? That just seems silly. Makes it harder to read. You don't need the extra squiggly bit at this step. I don't expect you to run before you can walk. <sighs> okay. Run before I can walk. That's Wallach, not walk. It's an O, not an A. They're not interchangeable? Most people understand. No, no they're not. I just put the little tail bit. There we go. See? Okay, but you could learn to put the tail bit when you first write it. Yeah, I usually come back. You're right. I'll, I'll do the... and then come back down is what you, what you do, right? I'll tell you what we're going to do. Okay. Actually, hold on. Stay right here. Actually, you should probably take a seat. Okay. I'll teach you how my teacher taught me. Oh, uh, I don't like the sound of this. <sighs> oh, don't worry. It'll be educational. That's what I'm afraid of. Really simple. Write your name. Okay. Kyler. Kyler. Uh, uh, Ow! Why? Why? Ow! It's not the way you do an E like that. Capitalize it. No, scratch it out. Do it all over again. But, fine. fine. Parchment is expensive. You have to get it right once. I worked in a scribery for a while. Kyle. Uh. Ow. That's not how you do the Y. You want that extra little to it, don't you? I do. When it's your name, you'll learn the flourish, because that's how you sign. Okay. I just... I used to just draw a little squiggle. Kai with a capital K. Uh, that I will not slap you, but do it again with more flourish on the K. You want like a little. When you look at half these missives, huh? you need to make, when it comes to your name, the K has to be capitalized. Mm -hmm. So does the E. Names. This is important. Names are uh, always capitalized. Yes. Yes, but when you're signing, you want to put a flourish on the K and a flourish on the E. Just any kind of floor it just needs to look fancy, basically, is what you want? Personalize it, it's kind of the fun of it. Personalize it, but the right way, I see. Um... Uh-huh. Uh... Mm-hmm. And I sh with a line underneath it. Huh? Huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Put your hand out. Put your hand out. <laughs> I thought that was good. Where's the T? You have to cross the T. Yes, you did everything except cross the T. Oh, that's where the saying comes from. Cross your T's and dot that. I right, 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 right. Okay, Hi. Uh, hot. Uh, 
Do it six more times. You roll your eyes, but you realize how lucky you are to get his name, right? I do. You should take a lot of care in holding that name. You're right. I'd be happy it's just a chisel. My teacher would get a good switch from the back garden. My knuckles would bleed. A switch? Like a big stick? St Oof. At least I'm just bapping your hand, not maiming it. But you need my hand for training, don't you? What? Not really. How am I going to train One well of if these I don't days, have a hard I'm... hand? Actually, about that. Tomorrow I'm going to tie your dagger hand behind your back. What good is that? Because at some point in time, you might not be able to use your hand. There was a time, actually. I suppose we will bring back those memories. Night killer round. Mm. You're gonna get up in the morning with me, and we're gonna go for a jog. You're too slow. I'm too slow. Yes. Well, what can I say? I suppose you're improving. Just kidding. Yeah. But it's better. What's the issue? Point it, point I'll it give to you me. That. The issue is, is that every time you write it, you're starting to get more slanted as you go down the page. You need to stay straight with the page. Yeah, the page is a square. You can't just be like, <clears throat> Kyla. Okay. Square it with the page. One more time. Jogging is for your health. You should always just be trying to bet better yourself and get faster. Don't rest on your laurels. That I can agree with. <clears throat> See? Square. You're right, that does look Who better. Who in the world lets you get away with such sloppy writing? <laughs> The guy I knew in Ledford. It was more, uh, teaching to read more than anything. Was he blind? No. <laughs> no. Oh, so he's hitting the head if he thinks this is acceptable. Definitely not educated, I can say that much. I'm sure I've degraded over the years without having a teacher. You know, cutting corners and such. <sighs> well, fun fact, you don't get to do that anymore, do you? Yeah, lucky me. You act like it's the worst thing in the world for an heir to pick you up and make him your son. Certain work that comes with that. It's just a lot. A sudden change, I guess. I'm still processing. I'll fall into place. It doesn't have to more. happen all at once. It's a little bit of the work every day. That's it. Hmm. I can probably manage that. You like this? Me. Yeah. Six seconds. Yeah, see, you're doing movements I never thought I could even do with a quill. Other than the rest. Okay, let me try. <clears throat> Just think of it like a blade. 
can't be scared of the writing that you're doing. If you can move your wrist as cleanly as I've seen you move your daggers, you can move a quill. A lot less consequences. Well... Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Can I just bail on that one? I'm gonna bail on that one and yes. start again. <laughs> And then E. How are you supposed to do a capital E, like, with the flourish? If it's all, like, kind of joined together. Oh, it's got, like, right. It's got, like, hooks in it and stuff. Did yeah. I just throw that fucking quill? No, it's on... it's... No. <laughs> it's, oh my God, it's on your back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm good at I'm good at writing. I swear. <laughs> Please help me, help me, lady. <laughs> it's on your back. Can I run? Maybe. Come here. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> here you go. I don't know how I managed to do that, but maybe you're right. I definitely need a teacher. You saying everyone leave? Um, no, I don't have that function on. Interesting. Never, like literally, like. I have been just booted left. a lot. Um, this session, just right. randomly to reload me to my home world. Ugh. I'm sorry. And then hooky Why things. Why makes you seem mysterious when I wander off? <clears throat> you just disappear. Mm-hmm. Flourish, 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 capital E, flourish, flourish. Uh, cross the T. Mm -hmm. I'm That's just, better. I'm just trying it out. You'll work off of that. Okay. That's what I'm saying, though. You can't be afraid of it. It's a quill. I see. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to ask you a question, and I need you to be honest with me. Mm -hmm. Do you always keep the company of bathhouse workers publicly? I do. What do you do in Gradia? As a no-name blacksmith worker? That's your business. But you realize that once you're not in that position anymore, that's not something you should be doing, right? Oh, I'm well aware. No. Publicly. Right now, uh, information is the name of the game. Bathhouse workers see a lot of people cycle in and out throughout the day. We learn things from them. Hmm. And they always come to speak to you at the forge, publicly. Again, it's the report. If they are so important for information gathering. I'm just saying, discretion. Mm -hmm. Consider it. I'm not going to be whoring around when I'm in Gwyn, don't worry. I understand that much. Don't mumble when you speak, repeat yourself. <clears throat> I'm not going to be whoring around in Gwen. I understand that much. You shouldn't be whoring around here either. Well, I didn't. I assumed it was information gathering. It is. Are you but sleeping I, with these women? No, I'm not. But I thought that's what you were implying. That's all. You don't need a bastard in Grodia, especially when we're running off in a couple of months. Don't be stupid. I know. Think about the kid. Uh, yeah. What's Improving. Mm -hmm. uh. What's next? Spell my name. But. Fresh paper, no cheating. I actually... 
I don't know how to spell your Do name. Do your best. Oh god, okay. <sighs> I'm a re, isn't it? Oh, I'm a re. Okay. <sighs> also, you should tell your acquaintances have met and been told. One called... I don't know, he wears an apron and works at the blacksmithery. Marcus. Calls me lady in public, as he should not be. I'll bring it up with him. He's written Lady Amory. <laughs> let you do it yourself. That's... Why would that go of it? Go on. Apparently not. It's mine now. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, what's the, what's the issue? Try again. Spelled it wrong. Spell it right. I don't know what the spelling is. I've not seen it written down before. Get lady. Found it out. Taught you how to do that, right? Uh, more. No. Ah, oh, Maury. Armory. Okay, well, now that I, I, I've seen it, sure. Part of learning how to write is being able to sound things out. It's a hard one. Armory. Mm. Like that. But with oh, that's forth. so hard. Spell Olena. This is one of those trick ones. It's got two E's, doesn't it? I'm not telling you a word. I'm taking the gamble. Two E's. N. A. Oh god. It's one. Ow. E. Ow. Two. Ow. N's. Ow. I knew there was double something. Don't they cancel it? Fine. Or le nah. Better. This must be very insulting. I'll flourish it. Okay. All right. I'm not going to be insulted that you don't know how to spell my name. That looks terrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Just double every letter. Disintegrate. Huggers. <laughs> Didn't drink so much water if you want to not pee in the middle of class. I'm sorry. I was nervous drinking. Fine, you gave me time to order this new delicious flatbread invention they made with tomato -y sauce on it. Oh, Ladia does those. Oh my fucking god. <clears throat> it 
Something's crashing everyone! the quill it's it's not the quill everyone else is cr crashing too can't be the quill what, you? what in tarnation is happening <laughs> what in tarnation yeah dude i ain't shit it's, it seems to be happening to like everyone with, with, with the strange Sorry, you started talking about flatbed with sauce on it. Yeah, I the man who makes it in the market, his name's Mr. D. Giorno. <laughs> Old, he's nice. Nice, yeah. Ladia makes them too, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Must be a competitor or something. I had Ladia so. Hut the other night, and it was pretty tasty. Little flourish. He will have no ladies hut and like it, young man. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm getting the hang of the flourish thing. It's all like a lot of rotating and leaning and. Mm -hmm. Got it. <clears throat> Do it again. Uh huh. I'm just gonna keep doing it until you tell me to stop. How about that? Twice. <clears throat> we should probably get food at some point, though. Yeah? Are you feeling anything specific? I know a few places. Be edible. That's what you'll keep of a training. Stew, then. Something hearty. This is nice. Did you do this? Uh, no. It was from a friend of mine. It's of a friend of mine. Exceptionally well done. I think so. I like to keep it in memoriam of him. Along with the names on I my sheet. I assume he's not around. No. Died in Ledford. Apologize for your loss. Thank you. Alright, your final test. Okay. In this paper you're going to write. Today, Olena kicked Kyla's ass in training. Remember your flourishes. <sighs> Best to write the things you know, right? Olena kicked Kyla's in training he has put an incredible flourish on the word ass how's that it's possible it's good Ooh. food Oh, actually, huh? grab that, the one I just made you write, wrap it up, and when you see your father, give it to him and show him how much you've learned. <sighs> Specifically the one I just had, since you did such a wonderful flourish. <clears throat> Is it to teach me humility? I need to fun. get some fun out of this, don't I? <laughs> Fine. Look, I know I'm not everyone's first Waiting choice, for your but... father to say, 
I, I do want to learn. No? Why would you think that? It's just how it's been. You need to stop assuming that my hostility is because I don't like you. It's because I intend to do my job right. And you're a mess. It's not me being mean, it's me being pointed and truthful. Hello? There's nobody at the forge. Right. Hello? Hello. <clears throat> Did you have much fun? Did I ask about? Hmm? <laughs> what? I was gonna ask if you had much fun, like, you know, growing up, like, what'd you do to unwind and such? I woke up, I trained, did my studies, my dinner, I read, and I went to bed. Oh, wait. <laughs> no time for yourself. I was about to say, I, I need to eat, but, um, I read. Thanks to it, but not what I said. A general party. And it was quite it was breathtaking. Didn't have any friends. So what type of friends you want me to have in the environment I'm working from? Later on from. In the day today, plan My father was good enough to come to the you. <laughs> it's like the just being at the bathhouse. Oh, I like the cup of your chips. Five copper. Five copper. I like the cup of his chips. I'm not going to have five copper. I mean, if you said it's ten. It's common, man. I... I don't, want, I don't want you to get in trouble for undercharging. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Put that in the pile, because apparently now I'm working. This is my time off at the bathhouse, and I'm working. Good day. Oh, excuse me. Go for it. Have you seen, have you seen the doctor anywhere, sir? So Not for He's a while. Right He's right there. I'm right <laughs> Sometimes I can still hear his voice. Now's the time. Look, you there's a lot of people in here and these posts getting up. Get him. How can I help? Hmm? Is this where you tell me this is what you do all day? No, not all day. Does he have anything or do you mean? Do you know how to cook? Not very well. I don't see anything. Gregor taught me to cook fish once. It didn't go well. Go to the market tomorrow. Be sure to cook something basic. That, yeah, I'd like that. I forgot my books. I'll I'm not typically when I have conversations in such places. Sure. Yes. Every time I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm surrounded by rats. They're in my armor. You're blushed. I think the crows were trying to get to the night. I think that's what it was. Save me, Sharik. Save me. I will. Once you get me two bowls of soup and two waters, please. Ah, <clears throat> uh, I look like she. I, I don't know. I, I, I would just Why gave somebody a bottle here? of wine and. Because I know how everything works back here. <laughs> hey, that is a friend from out of town. I'm showing her on notice. Oh, Ooh, a lady friend. Very nice. Uh, so. I I it's a bit of a culture shock coming to Nautus, you know. Is it really? That far out of town, huh? You... Well, no, I mean, it's used to fucking water shit holes. Not like this. <laughs> this town doesn't even have walls. Yeah. 
There's ah. wall. What good is wall when wall have it's hole? Multiple pieces, but it's there. <laughs> what do you mean hole? Wall has multiple holes. There. Yeah, exactly. There are lots of holes. Holes in the wall. Um, <laughs> excuse me. You, you're Shriek, right? Yeah, so how can I help? Uh, Mr. Clifford uh, pointed me in your direction. If you could, and you have a sword, you could you teach me something? Uh, hmm. My name is Matthias. I'm trying to learn a little here and there. I'm not much of a teacher, unfortunately. I'm trying to learn myself. I would only be imparting uh, incomplete knowledge. <clears throat> Oh no, my boss is out there. I cannot be seen back here. Okay. How much? How? Oh, well, do you. I'm just going to put a silver down. Just stand there. Just stand there. Just. What the fuck? Um, no. Well, thank you anyway. I was gonna ask if you had any combat experience I could learn from, at least, or <laughs> spar, maybe. <coughs> I'm trying to learn. Not, uh, not for a little while. Miss Venora! Your mask's... Your mask's down. Okay. Um, drop them off at the forge. Also, you should see Tang inside the bathhouse. What'd you do to Tang? Hello, Tang. Oh. Just looking at Tang, you notice earlier. you notice three things, all to do with his helmet. First off, the right winglet is bent outward. Second, there's a massive dent inward, as though it were heavy force. And then the other side of his helmet is scuffed. <coughs> I have many Who questions. How did they hurt you? I fought a troll. Why did they hurt oh. her? You won, right? I fought a troll? No. Mm-hmm. Rolling. Uh, Where is it? Is he fast enough to run away from one? Tade with a Doesn't look like it. My four. Uh, Glad you're okay, Tang. Flashbacks. You get troll flashbacks. <clears throat> uh, Post-troll stress. But <laughs> <laughs> We were thinking, Shriek, in, mm -hmm. in return, we give you the cleavers, you maybe fix his helmet. <laughs> uh, I'm not an armor smith, you'd have to talk to the Dowie for that, yeah. I think she thinks she still has it. Is it shaped differently? Alright. Ah, is what shaped differently? No, I fought the earth. You dropped it! I saw it was floating, man. <sighs> How can I pickpocket a basket? It's good to see you, Mr. Tate. It's a little landslide. Very carefully. Ah, Hawker! Do you have a moment? I want to ask you a question. If you have time. Let's go see if we can find more than... Yeah, sure. Helmet fixing. I would like to prefer that. One of these parts, honestly. How are you? Good. I'm going to go over there immediately. Okay, good boy. I'll catch up with you all in a bit. There's something important I need to ask this one. So, I wanted your advice on something. Okay. Given mm. your particular expertise. Occasionally, oh, when I'm out foraging, very rarely, I come across wild beehives. Yeah. And if I'm particularly fortunate, no one is home. As such, I'm occasionally able to collect wild honey. However, a lot of the time when I'm doing so, the bees Sorry. come back. Have you seen theirs? And then I have to run. Not for a while. How do you play cage with these in the wild? Okay. I Enjoy your food. I just put it in my mouth. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect timing. Mean. <laughs> Alright, so. Sounds good. I need to find him. Uh -huh. I'm about to make a very poor judgment call. Uh. No, I don't have it in here technically on this one. Sorry. How does bullet. How does bullet. So, this would be a smoker? Just a little thing that has like a little <coughs> box on one side, you put charcoal in it and light it, and it just blows out smoke. Uh, smoke tends to calm bees down, and will usually kind of, it tells them that it's relaxing, <coughs> let's go back to the hive and settle down time. And then they'll kind of like scurry into their home while yeah, she's like, not kind of coming. 
that, that's <laughs> the best you make. Sometimes it's a two edge tape. Oh, okay. yes, not work you very have been well. uh, very like shy. I've not seen you. I am Flora, if you want to find me now already. Ooh, ooh. I'm here yep. to inform Why is my spooky music playing? A little fog in my ears. Shield and a round shield for you. I'm still working on the other one. Glad that you're all right, my good friend. Uh, <clears throat> something I should know about. Joke. Hey, Marcus had one. I'm gonna rest here. The okay. what? Yeah, just 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 rest there, all right? He had a heat stroke. Oh. Whilst he was coming <clears throat> right on back. I just, I just need to I just need to lie down for a Let me get you some water. Yeah, no. Oh, thank you. I have yeah, as just, much water as that you can I've get just for been him. Working. I've just been working so <clears throat> Here you go, Marcus. Drink up, okay? Oh, thank you. <clears throat> yeah. I probably should have slept, but there was a rush order. I had to. It was, it was <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look, what matters from as of right now, if there was a rush order for her, we can tell her that it's going to have to wait due to what your no, condition no. is. No, no, no. <laughs> Here, go. <sighs> catch up with you. Come uh, back, chat. Catch up with me. Now's a good time to rest here. Recover as much as you can. Whenever you're ready, you can stand right on back up. You can feel dizzy again. You come back here. Or to your place, All understood? Right. <laughs> Alright, get on out of here. <laughs> I'll find you if you're laying on the fucking floor again if I hear about it from <laughs> Harry. Okay. I haven't seen him all day. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Sharik. Howdy. 
That's one decided to headbutt a rock. Yeah, I heard. <clears throat> I, okay, it nervous? wasn't me. The rock wanted to headbutt me. Yeah, okay, you know it's for it our way. special I'm project. I'm glad you got it out of the way there. right now, so, because <laughs> later on, I'm, I'm right intending on for a get together. You can inform your father company. of this as well. Thanks to that one being here. Thorin. Your brother. Your brother. Older brother, yes. right? I'm intending to have a proper greeting for him. I've been planning this for some time, so... This evening! Mm. I hope you don't have any plans for the immediate morning, because I'm going to get you plastered. <laughs> I will do my best to be there. Oh, boy. No point. No promises on getting plastered. <clears throat> <laughs> so, oh, I intend for there to be a dwarf toss, which is essentially just tossing stones that are about the same size as a dwarf, see how far you can get them. Arm wrestling, drinking competition, right. eating competition, things like that. Hello? Uh, hello? Can he toss up a broom? What? Uh, yeah. What are, you, what are you doing on the roof? Uh, oh, oh, hey. Chimney to my forge. Why is that so weird to you? Give me a broom. Um, Are you ready? What do you keep your broom? I'm ready. Prepare yourself. It's all up to the oh, dice. <laughs> oh god. Oh, no. <laughs> if I have to. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Did he just get oh, jammed no. by a broom? <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Did you get it? I think, I think you threw it a little too hard. At least he didn't go yeah, on I got the it. other side. Oi, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tazim, uh, if you can hear me. If anyone has their face in the forge, just a whole bunch of black <clears throat> dust. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, shut! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Where's my head? I just this work. I'll get that out of the way. Um, I haven't I seen you like that. Thank you. <clears throat> I haven't seen um, that since you were a fucking beardling and the master caught you <laughs> trying to skip out of the water. Oh, that ah. was glorious. <laughs> Wow. Thank you, Tazim. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> the bear. Oh, God. It's fine, I'm lad. Sure he's not big enough to be able to fall through it, is it? Uh, uh, very much so. Uh, it's uh, should be cleaning it. Okay. A question for you. I'm glad mm -hmm. that it's not filled. Uh, just so I ask, so I'm aware. Was there an order in for a sword for myself? I think I put it in, but I don't know if it's been marked. Uh, disease. Um... Oh, God. I dropped off the steel with uh, oh. his <laughs> chest piece. Thank you. It would have been about three or four days ago. In that case, it would have been done. It's not on my sheet, but I'm just going to assume oh, well. that it's done. Yeah, of course, Morden. Let me grab it for you. Here, and then side. Probably to change. Uh. Um, if you don't yeah. mind, uh, Shriek, I'm gonna... Still... Where's my basket at? God dang it. You have an interest <laughs> in that around your mod. How's this? I told you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you keep, like, letting go of me. Right. Okay. I'm going into Tazim's house because I gotta go fill up something real quick. I'm going to the study real quick to fill up the two jars real quick. Aye, this'll do. Yep, this'll just... do nicely. I'll come with you. How about that? Yeah, no worries. I just gotta film real quick. I in order to, uh... Oh, I'll wait right here. So... Thank you. Of course. Yeah, I just I kept I kept forgetting and forgetting. And I told him I was gonna bring some more, and I keep forgetting to fill it up. Uh. How are you today? Uh, but no, uh, doing okay. We ran, uh, as you notice, the two cleavers. We ran into an orc patrol out there close to the grove, so they do have them going everywhere. They're working on expanding, so they're gathering up resources from the woods and also going on uh, patrols to 
Uh, raid caravans. Great. They're in full swing right now. We're doing our best to counter them. We have a plan in motion, but it's going to take a little bit before we can do anything. So, um, H Harry came to me the other day. Mm -hmm. Seemed a little, uh, oh. off. He seemed off? Yeah, he seemed very scared <sighs> and confused <laughs> about things. So, yesterday... Uh, was it? I can't remember. Feels like a couple of days ago. I might be wrong. Or was uh, was it at a party at the party or something? No, it was the night after, or the morning after. Uh. Well, he is trying to stay hidden, I think. Or well, y'all should have took care of that with the paperwork, I think. Mm. It, I think it was more related to you. Well, I told him I couldn't remember what I had said when I was drunk, because I don't ever get a chance to actually drink and relax like that every once in a while. Right. <laughs> I think I said a few things that I shouldn't have said, probably. Yeah, I, he just seemed very, um... Yeah, just very, very, yeah, uh, you know. Anyway, um, <clears throat> he, did ask, he did ask. He did ask Tyr about what maidens were, so I don't know what all he saw. I anything. think he saw something because he looked like he'd seen some fucked up shit. Yeah, he came to me and I said, "Look, don't question it. Just roll with it. It's much easier that way." <laughs> yes, it is. <clears throat> it definitely is. Oh, that reminds me, I need to get your dad's book back from, uh, Miss Cassidy. Uh, about the Luxor, uh, the university over there. He gave me a book to borrow to read, and after I got done reading it, I gave it to Wolfire to read a little bit. I need to go pick that up from her so I can give that back to him. Mm, okay. You can put it back in the study. <laughs> yeah, I need to get, I need to give, it reminds me, I need to give Harry his three bottles of the water. Been helping his crops out while we've been going through this dry spell. <clears throat> I noticed it had been pretty hot recently. Oh, I... Mm, I did some good, though. Um, I was able to... use some of my conduit ability to... make a very, very old tree that was near to its life sprout new branches out and kind of crack open <coughs> new stuff. It was pretty interesting. Oh, that's good. They said it... They, yeah, the tree said it's going to offer me a, a gift or something later to visit them later on. I don't know when, but they said I would know. <laughs> I don't know what a tree can offer a, a wood elf and maiden, but I guess it's something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> At least you don't think I'm crazy when I talk about these things. Your dad never believed me when I told him about Goldred coming into my home very first foremost. I will admit I was kind of on the fence and then uh, everything happened and then I saw Goldrick and then uh, yeah, I stopped questioning it. So, yeah. whatever works. I don't lie. <clears throat> when until you, when until you meet the snail I talked to. Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh, God, good. Somebody's knocking <clears throat> on the door. I guess we'll go out and see. Get bandaged. <clears throat> uh, Miss Ladia. Oh. Hey, I was looking for um Benora. I owe you be silver. Oh, for, the... for your oh yeah for the drought. Yes, mm -hmm. I forgot about that. There you go. It's five, correct? Oh. There you go. Yes, that's fine. How are you feeling? Thanks. Well, I'm told oh. this mending potion will do the trick. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Shriek? Yep. There you are. Do you have the surgical tools? I owe seven for them. <sighs> yeah. I was told to pick them up. I haven't worked. No, you were told to pick them up? Okay, good. Yep. I can grab them for you. Are you okay? Yep. After this, I'm sure I'll be fine. What happened to you? A lot of swelling's gone down. Abduction. If you need anything other than the surgical tools. Yes, the surgical tools that I'm told Vezarin and Tizim myself are going to have a talk probably later tonight. Tools. I need them. It cost me a life today, and I'm not making that mistake again. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I'll get them to you. Appreciate it. Well, at least you got to go and get two ingots out of that, and I will help them out, and that'll give you um, your helmet repaired. <clears throat> Hopefully, that'll be done after Morden's done greeting his younger brother. Or older brother. Seven Morden silver. Tools. Tongs. tongs and the scalpel and the. I forget what this one's called. I'm sure, they'll come in handy. Thanks. I'll see you around. Yeah. Have to go Did back. You see you anywhere? Victoria was being. I don't know. She rode on a horse with someone. with a man in red. It looked like he was also in armor. And a black horse. Black Single horse. Busy. Hmm. Great. I dropped off wood with mm. Severk like yesterday in the turn of the charcoal. Yep, he's been working on that uh, okay. over here. I guess so. I guess we'll just ask the doctor again. Because <sighs> I'm not done with my riding lessons yet from, from Harry. There you are. So Thank you, sir. Of course. I appreciate you. See, I'm. You do great work. Once I can ride a horse, then you can just get on the back of the camel. I'll bring Tears shield yeah. by the shop. It'll be inside on the upper shelf. Tears okay. over there. Oh, can yeah. I buy some honey? Just throw it at him. Come, yeah, come on. I want to see his face. Come on. Um. Yeah. In a little bit when I get some. I want to see him yeah. happy. Well, how much you looking for? I, I don't know. I don't know how to cook. But someone said they were teaching me how to cook. Uh. So I figured maybe honey would be cool to have. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can tell you like a unit. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can tell you more if you need it, but I don't know how much I, don't I need. Give you too much, I've so you're not gonna never use used honey before. <clears throat> That's fair. It depends on what you're cooking. I don't know. I just... One unit is usually enough for most things. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. Yeah. First, oh, I'll come find you. I'm actually gonna go try to do a stealth run to my house. Yeah, be... not get eaten by an orc. Be and careful. Go harvest some. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. I know, it's a death. I've decided I don't want honey anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Please be safe. That's, that's honestly fair. That is honestly fair. <laughs> Listen, I'm just hoping small size and speed makes it okay. <clears throat> I just can't afford to pay something to go with me. Mm. Yeah, I'll go find you. <sighs> Stupid flooring.
12, so that becomes 16. Not as much as I'd hoped. <clears throat> there, at least that is what Morden told me. Precisely. Which is 
one reason why orcish cleavers, as crude as they are, are so intimidating. Yes. As yes. you get closer so much you look into his eyes, but a moment you see they're starting to I do not mind Basil, she is resting. Ah, uh, you're here to take bath, yes? No, I am here for it. Uh, Lost. Help me. Not the reasons. I, I, Don't let me get in your way. <laughs> places his arm around you. Here. Let's go. Basil, I'll right. be right back. Okay. Bye bye, darling. Ah, uh, you're here for other reasons. Good morning. Good morning. You see, Absolutely. there is a slight tint of red on the ground to the right of Basil near the bucket. Seems that she's been scrubbing for quite some time. I'm almost done. Uh, could like to sit in here with me while I scrub. I'm sure you wouldn't mind. Is that a blind man? Uh, oh. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Tang. Hello. Interesting. Okay. This is not so usually how I find you. Yeah, he no, is, uh, usually injury. you don't see me scrubbing up someone's head injury on my, gr on my floors. There I ask, did he not pay? He paid for the plant. I was just coming by to see if Basil wanted me to refill the boilers. I would love that. Uh, I have 30 mind. copper Thank waiting you. for you. All right, then. Uh, I'll finish my business outside of town, and then on my way back in, go by the front door and wait for you in here. All right. Thank you. I am Flora. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Tang. Ever since he came back, I have been working ten times harder than what I used to. Hmm. This is a shame to see. Could have sworn I just... I did. I just watched it yesterday. I lost a lot of coin today yeah, just for being okay. out and about with Soma, so I... As in he took the coin from me. Should be fine. No, it's just. Anyway, I got some rocks to break, but not with my. <sighs> I think that should be clean so, enough. Yeah, I've been scrubbing on my hands and knees for what feels like an hour. But it looks wonderful from where I'm sitting. <sighs> Thank you. Does the plant look okay, or do we actually need to replace it? <sighs> Try as best mm. I can. To <sighs> Okay, for for now, darling. I'm not sure if uh, the boss will. Uh, I'm so sorry you have to see me in that state. Not Maybe something I would like room. you to see me in. The bad parts in the back. We'll have to do what we need to to survive. Maybe uh, there is someone in the market. Yes, we do. Sells plants. I don't know. I was, I was hoping that he's the money that he gave us to actually get profit. Yeah, good. I'll go through it out. Yes. As clean as I'm going to be able to get it. I, I scrubbed the vomit. I think it's good. may want to put something Thank smelling you. good over that way. But at least for a little while. That uh, tang. Does the plant look okay? I tried to fluff it back out. Yes, thank you. Uh, Mr. Tang is uh, what? Uh, a man of metal. <coughs> he, he likes to get uh, his, oh. himself clean, though. He enjoys yeah, the scrubbing. The ropes. Yes. Like the ones that you had seen on the roofs. Right. But that is not the same. No, it wasn't that. What the fuck? <sighs> like, what? Anyways, 
Old man's so I take you to the back? The infirmary. He's passed out and he'll yes. fully recover within the next day or so. Just no, I'm not. not. Soma, I have a client. So I'm going to take care of him. All right, Miss Basil, you have a good you have a good one now, right? Stay safe. I will. <sighs> you have heard so much about the uh, the neighborhood. Busy days. Go out. Give Important. me one moment to check to see if he is in his office. If he is, then I will go. <clears throat> will I can have a talk here. with him. Oh, would you like to? No, but I can, if you want me to. Maybe <laughs> get him to be a bit more polite. No, it is um, my own fault, if you will. Give me one moment. <clears throat> kind of shitty fucking worksmanship is this? I guess he's resting there. going to be coming out the room. <clears throat> I understand. That is the owner. Yes, it is. He's a really good man. It's just when I have forgotten. Uh, let's just say I have forgotten what it is uh, like to be stationary. When he's gone, us girls have a little bit more freedom walking around. I see. <clears throat> Plus, I got used to it. Of course. Uh, you have anything interesting for me by any chance? The situation with that girl I can tell you about. Ah, uh, you handled that, did you? I did. Miss Sarah also assisted. Yeah. And Mr. Aegon. Ah. So, one thing's for sure, I have been told by a reliable source that she lied to my face. That is not good. No. Seeing as <clears throat> it makes you wonder if she was telling the truth, what would Gurbam have to gain from just choosing a random bathhouse girl the way that he did. It doesn't make sense at all. What is your theory? She's playing a dangerous game, keeping cards close, thinking that it's going to get her what she wants. Which is? I don't know. Men are so much easier to read for me. 
But women. There are some women with this scorn in their eye, and it's just so hard to see through it. You can say that again. <laughs> As the, I believe the saying goes, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. I like that. Well, I don't like that, but I like the saying. The saying. <clears throat> what do you want to do with her? Well, I can't really do anything at the moment. See, Aegon has become the bodyguard for the bathhouse. And if something happens to her, he loses his contract. I see. You said he was there for the Unless, talk. Unless, of though. course, he was. And he believes that a hundred and ten percent. Of course he does. You know what he sold me? We had a small talk after he talked to her privately. He told me that if Lily and I weren't wearing these clothes, it wouldn't have happened to us. I don't know if it's her words or his. But... <laughs> it hurts far more because... He interrupted me before I could say I wasn't wearing these clothes the first time that my consent was taken away. Is it really such a bad thing if he loses his job? He said he would kill anyone who makes him lose a contract. So I think it is. Because I care very deeply for the people who are affected by this. So unless we can find a way for her to no longer be a bathhouse girl. There is not much I can do. You can't fire her? I can't do anything. If the owner wasn't here, I would be able to. But the owner shouldn't know about all these issues. He also doesn't know about my own extracurriculars. Well, that is good at least. <clears throat> I just want things to be easier for you all. I had a very long talk with, uh, coin cousin, Ezrin. Oh. And? About how amazing <laughs> you all are. What do you mean, you all? All those who are affected by what this Ezra has. All the things that she has known. You know certain things. The people who I care for know certain things, meaning you have all been through those things, either together or separate, but you know about these things. And the fact that you're able to continue day to day, with all of that still on you, it's amazing. You're all so amazing, and I don't think anybody tells you that. I think your compliments are best placed with the people involved. Hmm. Not me. If uh, this vision is telling you things, then... Well. I learned a lot, not just from Vezrin. But I have been on some talks. I know things here and there myself. And you yourself has proven to me that you know things about this stuff. 
That's why I came to you. That's why I came to Miss Sarah. I just think you should know that. It may feel misplaced, but... No, it's from the heart. I've gotten to know you well enough, I think. If you say so. <laughs> but I'm not sure what we can do about her. I've thought of almost everything. She hasn't said anything, though I haven't seen her. You have uh, personal uh, lockers or boxes for each of the girls. Each one of these has uh, special sections for us girls. Things for us personally. Uh, communion one, in a way, where we all we're able to put our own things in there. And I s suppose she has one too? I just don't know <laughs> which one it is. Are you trying to keep people out of them or just deter them from trying because... <laughs> hmm. Amateurs work. Well... Probably very easy to get into those, so... I, well, they don't look too secure, but they can be deceiving. If we can figure out which is hers, you can plant something in there that would make her look bad enough to be uh, fired. A lot of gaps you have to fill in He's yourself. He's also trying that, to get the guards apparently away from us, and I will do it that way because... If that was the case, why didn't she tell us the first time instead of just bringing them in? A lot of us girls are really good at faking it. So. Hmm. Something to think about, I suppose. There is one guard I'd like you to just keep an eye out on. Mm -hmm. He's... He's very weird. He hangs around Salim a lot. It's, um, he's a larger gentleman with a curled moustache. He carries a bunch of knives on him. He, he does this thing where he doesn't carry a lantern at night and just sits and watches. Mm. He also likes being carved by women. That I do know. Sounds like a fucking creep, if you ask me. Absolutely. But who am I to talk to? <clears throat> he, um, he got one of my new girls, Flora, to attempt to carve a rose into his arm. Poor thing has never touched a knife in her whole life, I could tell. Wow, okay. Yeah. The people you meet in Gradio. Fucking Apparently. hell. Mm, that's crazy, creepy people you meet. I know. I'll keep an eye on him. I was hoping that maybe... Yeah, please do, because he's... Very, very odd. I don't understand anything. I can't read what he's going to do next, but what I do know is he really likes people who know knives. Oh, then he'd love me. Mm. He apparently really liked me. I uh, took over for uh, Miss Flora. Apparently he didn't know that uh, a Balthas girl would know to heat up the blade before you carve. Well, you're not like the other bathhouse girls, are you? I'm not, because I've had a man who asked for something similar a long time ago. Oh, God. 
I never understand it. Okay. I'll keep an eye on him. Uh, is there anything else? Thank you. But um, otherwise... Did you end up putting those feelers out for uh, that thing I asked for? I did. No one's coming back to me. Strange. I'll poke around elsewhere. Thank you for There must be though. some sort of... Of course, uh, there must be something with, uh, you know, with the situation over with uh, all the supplies going other places. They're probably short on what you're asking for. Mm. The thing is, in these situations, those kind of people thrive. When there's a general shortage, uh, shortage upon things is when they pop up and charge exorbitant prices. Which means someone or something has a stranglehold over this city. Once I break through that barrier, I'll be fine. But I do appreciate it. Of course. Thank you for listening to me ramble on. <laughs> oh, it is my pleasure, Miss Basil. I always enjoy our talks. As do I. Is there anything else you need? No. I will be okay, I think. Here. It's five silver. <clears throat> Hopefully that gets him off your back a little bit, hmm? Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. You keep looking after those girls. I'll see you soon. I will. I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Oh, God, everybody's so 